Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Emily, and this video is going to be a get ready with me on this look right here. It's mostly just a casual, everyday kind of look for me. So if you want to learn how I got this look, then just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to first start off by priming my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre with my Elizabeth Ma All Over Shadow Brush. I'm going to bring it all the way up to my eyebrow and place it like over the concealer that I used to carve out my eyebrows. And I'll have my eyebrow tutorial linked down below. And I like to put it underneath my eye too because it kind of helps cancel out my dark circles. Now I'm going to set that eye primer with my Wet n Wild large eyeshadow brush with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Dolce De Leche. It usually has a dark contouring color right here, but my son stuck his finger in it and it all fell out. So I just have the light shade. And I just place that all over the top part of my eye. I'm just going to go for like a super simple eye look today. I'm going to use my Too Faced chocolate bonbons palette and I'm going to start off by using this mocha color right here it's just like a soft brown and for that I'm going to use my Morphe M535 brush I'm just going to pick some of that up and buff it on my eyelid and in my crease Cocoa powder it smells so good. Now, using my Morphe M321 brush, I'm going to pick up some of this malted color right here. It's just a deeper brown. I'm going to try and just pick it up on like the tip of the brush. I'm going to place that directly on my lash line and then drag it out a little bit. I just want to build it up a little bit. Just right on that lash line. Brush off in like a towel and then buff that edge so it's blended. I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Again, I'm just going to wipe that brush on a towel and then buff out the edge of that brown. Now we're going to move on to the face and I'm going to prime my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and I'm just going to take about a pea sized drop of this and distribute it all over my face like usual. I kind of like put it on my two middle fingers and then apply that directly to the spots where I need it the most and then just blend it all over the rest of my entire face. For foundation, I'm going to use my favorite L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 102 Shell Beige with my Morphe M439 brush. I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand and then distribute it on my face. I mean, I even feel like that's dark for me. I'm so fair. And I feel like, I'm pretty sure this is like, wow, I'm saying like a lot. I'm pretty sure that's one of the lightest shades. Gotta love being pale. I'll just make sure to bring it down my neck. And I 
always like to add a thin second layer of foundation to the areas where I feel like I need a little more coverage, so my problem areas, because I get those. For foundation, or foundation, for concealer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circles Eraser in the shade Neutralizer. I feel like there's hair on my face. So annoying. And I'm going to use my Dampen L'Oreal Beauty Sponge to blend that out. I always like squeeze it in a towel to make sure that I get as much water out of it as possible or else you'll just have like muddy concealer. And I'll place it under my eyes and down the center of my face just to bring some light to my face. Even though I am pale, bring some lighter light to my entire face. Just kidding. I just met the center of my face. Now I'm just gonna blend that out. If I can find where my, my sponge went. If you want to see my full foundation tutorial, I'll have that link down below. I'm going to set that with my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. Take some in the cap and then I press that on top of my concealer with my same Dampin' Beauty Sponge. And lately I've been liking to put some translucent powder in the crease of my nose because that's where I tend to like touch throughout the day for some reason. And I feel like it just helps it stay in place better and not like come off as easy. The only thing I hate about loose face powder is that it gets all over your clothes. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte, my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent with my Morphe M527 brush. Just kidding. Wrong brush. My Wet n Wild Powder Brush. That's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to set the rest of my face and my neck. And kind of wipe off the excess translucent powder with this brush. Now to bring some color back to my face, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. I think. And now I'm going to use my Morphe M527 brush. To bronze up my nose, I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer with, with my BH Cosmetics Tapered crease brush with this brush right here. I'll have it in written on the screen for you. And I'm going to blend that out with this large domed. I can't remember any of my brushes names. I'll just have it on the screen. I'm just putting the excess on from that first brush I used to bronze up my nose under my bottom lip. Now I'm going to add some blush. I'm going to use my Milani Lu Luminoso Baked Blush. Or I'm going to use my Milani Baked Blush in this shade, it's really hard to say, blush in the shade Luminoso on my Wet n Wild 
contour brush. To highlight my face, I'm going to use my Becca Opal highlighter with my Morphe M501 brush. This is like one of my all-time favorite highlighters. Oh my gosh, my brush is shedding. No, just kidding, that's just my hair. Now I'm going to go back into my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and pick up that first shade. What did I use? Did I use Mocha? Well, I'm going to use Mocha on this Morphe M321 brush that I used before. And I'm just going to buff that under my eyes. I'm going to go back into my Becca Opal highlighter with my Morphe E36 brush to highlight my inner corners and under my brow bone. I'm going to line my tight line with my black eyeliner and I'll have all my products and brushes listed down in the description box below. I'm just going to leave my bottom water lines naked. I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Curve Alert Mascara in black. I'm just going to apply my ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Cookie. This is one of my favorites. And I already have chapstick on, so I'm just putting it on top of my chapstick. And I'm going to quickly set my face with my Urban Decay Setting Spray. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I think this is going to be one of my new favorite looks to go to. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.